Hi there, this is my lot, and what I've got here is a pair of Kida-like Defiance Grade 4s. Now, I'll put one of them aside. Uh, they are both Kida-like, and they operate from the same key. Now, they have anchor lass cores, and they are fairly big, chunky things. Um, there's the Anchor Lass 822, so we can see there is a considerable size difference. This is hardened steel, whereas this is chromed over a brass body. Um, the other difference is, it's the same core. It's an 11 disc core with false gates, but the Defiance Grade 4 has a hardened steel spinner. Um, protecting the first uh, brass profile disc so the grade 4 offers a lot more physical protection and we'll try and give this one a pick uh, I picked the 820 recently so let's uh, let's get that in there give it a, a spin now, I'm going to try and pick it like that. I know it's not ideal. I'm, uh, I'm blocking out a lot of light. Let's try and lock the focus because it will want to wander. There we go. Now, as I, uh, as I damaged my I broke my uh, disc turner. I'm going to manually uh, fully rotate all the discs clockwise before I start picking. There we go. So just like the 820, I'm having to come right off the tension uh, to get these discs to move sometimes from one from one gate to another or just out of the gates. Um, so there we go, I think. That is yeah, that's everything. So let's start at the back and work forwards. So one little click, and then I get a second subtle click, and then everything goes a little a little loose. So I'm going to leave it there. I get a click. And a second click, I'm going to leave it there. Now, as soon as I started turning this the disc four, I felt a little counter force on the uh, on the tensioner. So I think that's a zero cut, and the same again. So we've got two zero cuts in a row. We've got one good click there. I'm going to leave it at that. And I felt the same little kick back there. And it feels a bit gritty. Um, it's not quite as smooth as some of the rest. So I reckon that's another zero cut. A very subtle click. Another. I'm probably going to have to go back through. Oh, that was a better click there. And we got one good click and a turn. Let's, uh, let's try that again. So come in right off the tension. One good click, a little turn. Yeah. Oh, come on.
that one there. That one there. Feels okay. That feels all right. That's a zero cut. And then we had four what was it? Zero cut. Zero cut. And I think we have it. Oh, <laughs> there we go. And uh, that was picking blind. The key is uh, faced in the opposite direction, so I couldn't see the cuts. There we go. Let's swim the pick out and. Let's get the key in there. Just got to sort of work the key in. There we go. So, there we go. The Defiance Grade 4. Um, Anchor Lass. Uh, picked on camera. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, I will revisit these again in the future when I've got a, a, a pinning tray. Uh, I will get them. And... Uh, yeah, just I'd rather do it with the pinning tray instead of laying them all out on on this flat surface there, where they're likely to to get knocked and jumbled up. That's a headache I could do without. So yeah, uh, you will see these again, no doubt. So there we go. Uh, I think the next the next step on my high security disc detainer journey is either this. Uh, Abus Granite, it's the uh, 37 RK80 um, or I have just uh, I've just bought a, an Abus what is it, an 80 an Abus Plus 8050 uh, but this is nice and smooth and you can you can hear the hardness in that shackle. This is a, a substantial lock. But yes, I'll need to work on that one. A bit more practice required at the, uh, at the anchor lass. Until they become second nature, I probably don't stand a chance on the, on the granites and the Abus Plus. But keep playing, get the feel for, get the, get the feel for these sort of false gates. Uh, style of disc detainers and uh, I will eventually get there thanks for watching everybody have a good one cheers <laughs>